Want to build your own generative AI app? These are the four approaches you could take. Prompt engineering. It's fast, it's cheap, and there's no training required. All you need to do is create a specialized prompt to guide your model's behavior. Then you could fine tune an existing model. Here you're adapting a pre-trained LLM to specific data sets or domains. For this you're going to need labeled data and the computational cost is a lot higher, of course, depending on the data set size. Training an LLM from scratch. This involves billions to trillions of tokens of training data and pretty much weeks of training. Fair to say it's a bit too expensive. So what's the last and usually the best choice? RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Here you combine an LLM with external knowledge retrieval. For this you're going to be using a vector database to store the embeddings and the added cost is for computing them and for the increased context length per query. A RAG workflow pulls relevant information from external sources and injects it into the context provided to a model. You can use it for example in a question answering use case where the answer comes from recent specific documents. Now how does RAG work? The user submits a query. This query is transformed into an embedding which is simply a high dimensional vector. This vector representation is then used to search for relevant information in a vector database. So what's a vector database? It's a database that stores both the vector embeddings and the actual data objects. This allows for vector searches with advanced filtering. Now the most relevant pieces of information are retrieved from that database and they're added to the initial prompt. So we end up with a bigger and better prompt context that contains the original query and the retrieved information. And this helps the large language model to produce a better response as it has a relevant context around the question. And here are the two main reasons why RAG is one of the best approaches to use. It reduces hallucinations. As the model's input relies on clear external knowledge, there's a smaller chance of false information. And it also enables in-context learning without the cost of traditional fine-tuning. Because if you have a model that needs to be updated with new data, RAG is the best choice to balance inference and cost. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.